This video is supported by patrons like you. If you'd like to become a patron, please head over to patreon.com forward slash Matt Jarbo. One of the things that doesn't get talked about as much anymore is online piracy. It used to be like the scourge of all like the tech blogs and the movie blogs. It was always talking about piracy, piracy, piracy. But recently it's, it's, it's died down. People know it exists, but I don't think studios want to draw as much attention to it anymore. Uh, some websites like Torrent Freak talk about it quite often and Torrent Freak gets in trouble for it a lot because they'll release like what movies are being downloaded? What's the top downloaded movies and TV shows of the week? And a lot of people out there uh, get a kick out of that because you know that it rubs the studios raw, even though occasionally when you look at Torrent sites and you look at where they're coming from and you can see the IPs or like some of the information about where these are coming from, you discover that they're coming from studios themselves. Right. There was one time, I'm not kidding you, where Paramount, there were there were torrents that were linked back to a Paramount IP address, which was really fascinating that that happened. So it makes me really cut out the question, uh, do studios uh, end up ultimately leaking out their own material as a way to test the audience, as a way to market test the audience? And I think in some cases uh, that that's actually happened. But what we are learning today is that one of the bigger websites, a very large competitor to even YouTube, it was a video sharing site called OpenLoad is now gone, where studio shutter pirate site that got more traffic than Hulu and HBO Go. Yeah, more traffic than Hulu and HBO Go was OpenLoad. And that is wild to me because OpenLoad is a site that I've known about for a long time. Uh, I don't actively engage with it. I always kind of felt it to be a little bit on the clunky side, but it was was a place where people housed a lot, a lot of pirated stuff and a lot of adult films too. A lot of the sites that re-upload a lot of adult content ends up using open load because uh, the quality is still pretty high and uh, it's just, it's not YouTube. But so, but this is what we know now. It says a coalition of major studios has obtained a settlement that shuts down open load, a file sharing site that got more traffic than Hulu or HBO Go. Uh, operating through the website openload.co, the site collected advertising revenue and paid users who uploaded videos based on the number of downloads. The site operated through thousands of servers in uh, Romania, France, and Germany, according to the Alliance for Creativity and Entertainment, and provided content to 36 of the top 50 pirate sites in the world. This is no small feat. Openload going down is, is a pretty significant thing. Because I first learned about it through Reddit. When it was being talked that there are some, some subreddits that dabbled in the, the, the sailing of the high seas of the internet. And they would use open load. Uh, and I found it to be quite interesting that it was, uh, that it was as popular as it was and, and as populated with pirated content as it was without really seeing like the, the ire of the studios. Like there's no way it was going to operate without being shut down. Now, what I didn't know was that people were earning money off of that. And now that's where I draw the line. Piracy, I understand, has its place in society in some aspects of it. Like if you are sharing something just to share something, like I think that's one thing. But when it comes to like you earning money off of somebody else's hard work, uh, I do have problems with that. Now, it says Ace has been pursuing the case for several months and recently brought a legal action in Germany against the operators, uh, who also ran a similar site called uh, Strumongo, agreed to shutter both sites and to pay a significant damage award, according to the press release. OpenLoad has been redirected to Ace's website, which briefly crashed due to the heavy volume of traffic. OpenLoad claimed to follow procedures for taking down infringing content, but the site was identified last year in a report by the U.S. Trade Representative on notorious markets. Well, look, if you're running on advertisements and you're also rewarding uploaders for how much con for, for how many downloads loads they get, you're, you're not playing within the, the bounds of copyright infringement. All right. Like you're not. And I bet you a lot of that stuff is porn. I bet you a lot of that is adult content. hundred percent. Now, uh, Ace is in coalition with five major studios plus Netflix, Amazon, and several other content providers. And I'm wondering if those several other content providers are, are the adult entertainment industries. Um, because they have, they lose, look, they lose so much uh, from, from illegal streaming, right? That's one of the reasons why now you don't see a lot of movies being made. It's no longer adult films. It's just adult scenes. And they just, they sell it. They do a scene that's like 30 minutes and then they sell it off like the different street. Like that's what they do now. So it's, it's really interesting to see, uh, how the site operator or, or, or what happened to it. So, uh, it does say here that the organization which formed in 2017 has brought series of lawsuits to shut down pirate sites and the manufacturers of hardware that can facilitate piracy. In August, the organization announced that it has shuttered Vader streams, a pirate operation based in Canada. And a lot of the stuff nowadays is like, again, deep web has a lot of piracy. There's Usenets. 
Uh, torrents are still very popular and they're getting harder to track. I mean, people still use VPNs to go and do that kind of stuff. Uh, and again, it's not like you'll never get busted, but the likelihood of you getting busted is actually relatively uh, low from my understanding. You know, I, I think piracy is a, is a conversation that, that the studios need to have. It's one of the reasons why the proliferation of streaming services is become so popular. Uh, it actually does lead to a decrease in piracy if it's just accessible. And this is what the studio should be looking at. I understand that studios want to make the most amount of money as humanly possible, and they do uh, they do sell content to specific regions and that is where they make up the bulk of their money it's like for example kevin smith will raise four million dollars to shoot a movie of his but he gets that money off the bat by selling off the the streaming rights or the distribution rights to different regions around the world because they you know not everyone speaks the same language or they have the same like you know uh uh access to stuff or whatever but that is a big problem and that's one of the things that facilitates piracy. I'll give you a fine example of this. You want to know what's going to be pirated a lot? Mandalorian. The Mandalorian is going to be insanely pirated because it comes out here in the States, in North America, on November 12th. It doesn't go to the UK uh, for a, a while. It doesn't go to other countries for a while. And there's Star Wars fans the world over. They're going to want to watch it. How do you think they're going to watch it? How do you think they're going to get their hands on it? How do you think they're going to see it? They're going to see it because of piracy. They're going to see it because of that. It's one of the things that Hollywood is doing now is releasing some of these movies a week or so early in other countries and not the domestic market because they're afraid of piracy hurting the domestic market numbers. And they want to go to the countries where there's the most piracy first. And I get that. I understand that. But again, releasing it all at the same time around the world is something that everyone can then watch at once. Everyone can then witness at once and then everyone can get behind at once. HBO did it with Game of Thrones, worked out real well for them. 20 million people watched it and also 20 million people illegally pirated it. <laughs> so, I mean, it's not always a perfect solution, not always a perfect solution, but you still, you see what I'm talking about here. So there's a lot they're paying attention to, especially when it comes to this kind of stuff. And I feel that ultimately uh, uh, finding out what made open load so popular and then and then working with other regions to make things more open uh, and then talking to that community is going to warrant more sales uh, than it is just uh, shutting them down and waiting for the next site to pop up, because I guarantee you it already has. Anyway, your thoughts on this, your opinions on this, let me know down in the comments below. I'm very curious to know your thoughts on this. If you made it this far, please type open load into the chat so I know you guys made it. And please also like the video while you're at it and uh, subscribe if you're new. And definitely let me know what other topics you want me to cover in the comment section. Have yourself a great day, guys, and peace out.